um, the teamwork. How can you speak to that? I mean, it's really about team mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. And how do you find that? And does it, because like a lot of the last stories about the young people, you know, they're really very discouraged by conversations adults or the few adults around or the teachers have with them. I'm not saying anything badly, but they just are. So. Um, the team is like big and small and remote and near. How does that, I mean, like you said before, everybody does want to help, but there's, there's, there's a, a, a way of being a team. So how does, that, how does that emerge or how do you see that come from the whole, you know, from the top up, the corporate people that mm -hmm. get attracted to you? You have a lot of big organizations that uh, get attracted to it to you. Also did, I know this is going to sound roundabout, but did the CNN thing bring you a lot more kind of people to support? Did it wake up some other people to your journey? You know, CNN was really great because it validated what we were doing mm -hmm. and it gave it a big platform so people could, and so people knew that we were, you know, we the, kick, the tires had been kicked, we cross our T's, we dot our I's, mm -hmm. we're legit, um, we're a legit organization, we say what we do, we what, do what we say we're going to do and, and, and yeah. so forth so they gave us a lot of credibility and they and they and they made it so that a lot of people knew uh, or heard about us we got some of our most amazing amazing video mentors who are still with us today from from that CNN experience oh, that's great that's it is wonderful. incredible it is incredible um, and and we knew when we started that it was going to be tricky exactly building a team that could operate in two different countries when nobody else knew how to do video conversations on a regular basis. Um, you, you brought it up earlier, when COVID started in March of 2020 and everybody was, had to figure out Zoom, Infinite Family had already done 36,000 video calls. I was getting ready to video say that. Calls. And now you're up to like 41, 43, yeah. 43, okay. 43, yeah. So, so we had learned early on and, and very consciously approached how do we how do we build a community and a team amongst ourselves with thousands and thousands of miles apart? Mm -hmm. And then also with our NGO partners, because we knew that we could only go into a community with a local partner that mm -hmm. knows the community, that, that brings us in, that advises us and helps us really interact in a positive way. And it has worked because our computer labs, we've only in 17 years have only had one real break in. And it's because of the strength of our partnerships. And we've just always approached everything with our NGO partners. And then as a team, you know, we, we, we work very hard at our team meetings mm -hmm. to have time to get to know each other right. as and, people and, and to value each other as people along the way. And also this year, I, I know I, I mean, this is the first time I was, you did a whole thing where you invited like pretty much anybody that's done Everybody. anything for Everybody. Infinite Family to come in and, and have, um, here at Giant Town Hall for many days. It was days. pretty great, and I can't believe we didn't try and do it before. What were we thinking? We will definitely do more of those. And also, the other thing I thought was really like marvelous that you said that during COVID, you provided twice a day two things for the young people to do, uh, worksheets right, and right. things, and then some physical activity. Uh, so again, again, you know, you can't do things on paper. Paper gets lost, it gets ruined. You know. So we've learned that everything has to be done through technology. And so when COVID sent everybody home and they couldn't come to the launch pads, we quickly pivoted. And within three days, we were in contact with all of our net buddies twice a day, usually through their parents or a neighbor's cell phone. Mm -hmm. And in the morning, we'd send them something to think about and work on mentally. Mm -hmm. And in the afternoon, we'd send them some exercises, five minutes of exercises that they could do, you know, in very small space. And mm -hmm. we kind of challenged them to do them, and we did them, and, um, and, and it was and really great. Really but good. it turned out that they were literally starving. Our worldwide infinite family, within a week, started delivering food parcels to these families, mm. and we provided 60,000 meals. We wow. had never done food before, because our NGO partners do that. They have the, food, the feeding programs for the kids. Right. They run out of food very quickly, 
And so our infant family globally funded 60,000 60, meals. It was pretty amazing. Wow. And then because of our partnerships on the ground, they very quickly got distributed. Mm -hmm. and, and with that, right, the, the bond with the communities and the families just grew really, really strong. And that's, you know, a lot of, a lot of NGOs from other com countries go into Africa. They say they promise all sorts of stuff, and then they are there for a little while, and then they leave. Right. We are right. there, we're staying there. But then when we, when we ramped it up during COVID and did even more for our kids and our families, it really, they really... They got it. They well, got they, it. They not only got it, but they, our kids started saying to us, well, you know, if you're going to invest in us that much... Then we got to invest th in ourselves. Th then we really have to do it ourselves and, and deliver back. And mm -hmm. it, it's, really, it's really been great. It's great. Well, let's take a moment for another offering, and when we return, more with Amy. Ask that uh, this idea of, like, uh, in South Africa, not very many students graduate from, we just talked about, from high school. Um, like, it's less than 60 percent or something. 60 percent of the kids drop out before they, they even get. Yeah. And then you all have like a 95 percent um, success rate of people getting through high school and moving on in infinite. So the, the, 98 the, percent qualify for college. Oh, yep. 98. I got 95 down here for some reason. But um, that is amazing. And you even have some kids have even come. There's one of the success stories. I forget which uh, is it. Is it say so yeah? One of them went to is going to university is some college in Connecticut. So Andrew, Andrew, went, that's it. Andrew went to college in Connecticut. Um, he, he, he through his video mentor developed a fan base here mm -hmm. that funded him through college, and he's actually even fi recently finished his MBA at Fordham. Oh, so he's in a job. Oh wow, he's in a job. Yeah, he's he's. He's, he's doing in, what he said he's going to do. All right. Yeah, so he's great. He, he, and is he, is he working here in, in the, city, the state? Yes, okay. yes. Okay. Yep, yep. So well, then and he can send money back home, I guess. Yeah. Exactly. And one of the things he says is that, and, and this gets to the, 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 the very first challenge these kids have to get past, is that not very many people go to college. And so there's not that many role models. And, and Andrew said, you know, when I was growing up, without Infinite Family, without my mentors, I would have done what I thought was good enough. Oh, yeah, he did say that. He said, I just did, you know. Yeah. But his guy pushed him. And, so and, and Mitchell, is it? Yep, Mitchell, yep, yeah. Yep. And, and once he got connected with Mitchell and some of Mitchell's friends, he realized that, that there was a great big world out there and that he, if, he, if he worked really hard, he could be part of it. And he is. And it, he is. It's so cool. It's so great. 